Hi, I'm James Lefer and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Just so you have an idea, 6,000 signings were reported in 2020 alone. That's a lot of signings, so there must be loads of strange things going on, right? Well, there are. Today we're going to be taking a look at unexplained and mysterious signings that were recorded on camera. Are you ready? Let's go. From mystical stones to fairy tale like castles and creatures, Scotland is a place full of mysteries. And I guess that one of the most intriguing sightings that ever occurred and to this day remains a mystery is the Loch Ness Monster. It all started on May 1933 when a local couple claimed they had seen an enormous animal rolling and plunging on the surface of the Loch Ness. The story then became a media phenomenon and from then on, Many people claim they have seen or photographed this mysterious creature. In 1975, an expedition combining a sonar and underwater photography was done and they actually took a picture of what they believed to be an unknown aquatic animal. There were many other expeditions with sonar and underwater equipment to prove the existence of this monster and some of them believed to have captured something strange. Now to this day there are those who believe that this story is a complete hoax and others who believe it is real. On October 5th, 2021, Richard from Richard Outdoors YouTube channel was in Scotland raising money for the Alzheimer's Society. He was located 62 miles from Fort Williams to Inverness and they were camping in the region. Everything seemed to be going smooth and they were not looking for any sort of monster or creature. They were just having fun. When this happened. Like, uh, Fort Augustus, we got Loch Ness ahead for a couple of long paddle days. But we'll uh, see what we can do today. And I think um, finding camping spots is gonna be one of the more difficult things. So we're just gonna paddle paddle until we see somewhere suitable, but... Richard and his friends paddled to the Loch Ness and found a good camping spot. Then they decided to use a drone to capture some footage. This is what they captured on camera. Flying by the camping area with his drone, Richard apparently captured an unidentified creature, a huge unknown creature that actually looks like what some believe to be the Loch Ness Monster. The video went instantly viral and it became a discussion, is this the Loch Ness Monster or is it something else? Keep in mind that Richard Outdoors YouTube channel is focused on camping, fishing and outdoor activity. This is the only video found on his channel that features such a phenomenon. In other words, this might be the real deal, but I'm not too sure. What is your take? Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things to do at night is observe the stars, the moon, the sky in general, to me is a complete mystery. And to be honest, most of the times, nothing special happens. At most, I'll see a comet or a meteor and that's it. But things were a bit different for a group of friends located in Montenegro when they suddenly started noticing something strange in the sky. The entire town was lit up by this mysterious pulsating light that was captured on camera and published on Zvetajni Instagram page. They published with the following description. I got amazing footage from Montenegro this night. What is happening? Is this an extremely rare phenomenon or something else? Now there were other videos that were recorded of this event. Take a look. Now some say that this could be a red sprite or something like that. 
Now, red sprites are large-scale electric discharges that occur high above thunderstorm clouds at about 50 miles above in the mesosphere. Now, the thing about this colorful phenomena is that they're extremely tricky to capture on camera. The flashes last just lengths of a second and can be very hard to see with the naked eye. So this just might be something else. In your opinion, what is going on here and have you ever seen anything like this? When it comes to strange and unexplained sightings, there are many of them happening all over. Just so you have an idea, in 2018 alone, 3,400 sightings were reported in the United States of America. Surprisingly, in 2020, this number jumped to 6,000 sightings. Now remember that this is just in the United States of America. If you consider that these kind of events are happening all over, the number is way higher. And it was no different in Colombia a couple of months ago when Jose Alberto Garcia Ramirez captured something truly bizarre on camera in the city of Versailles. Check this out. Venga, 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 corra. Mira, amor, ve, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Jose and part of the neighborhood were baffled by what they were seeing. At first, they thought that this could be some sort of airplane. It was when all of a sudden it simply disappeared out of thin air. They finally figured that it couldn't be an airplane, it was something else. Now, some believe that this could be some sort of military flare, however, it is not common in this region, not only that, Flares usually burn in a bright red color, which is not the case. Others think that this could be some sort of meteor or maybe an object that entered the atmosphere and for some reason it lit up for a few minutes and then disappeared. In your opinion, what is going on here? Now I don't know about you, but nowadays many people install ring cameras, security cameras in their homes and offices for peace of mind. For instance, if you go traveling or if you go out of town for a while, it's good to have access to what's going on around it, even if you live in a safe area. Atalia Nessa Villa lives in Maranhão, Brazil, and she has a bar where she installed CCTV cameras for security reasons. One late night, her and her friends were closing the bar down when she noticed a motorcycle approaching. Check this video out. In the video, you can see two transparent humanoid figures crossing the road. They actually notice it and start to panic. Atalia then shows us the same moment from a different perspective and a different camera. We can see a motorbike and the moment it stops, something spawns from it. Apparently a bicycle or another motorbike with two people on it. What's even creepier about this video is that they noticed something that they couldn't understand and they panicked. I've watched the CCTV video over and over and I can't seem to figure out exactly where this bicycle is coming from. It apparently appears out of nowhere the moment the motorbike stops. And what makes it all even more unexplained is the fact that we have, from another angle, two transparent dark humanoid figures crossing the road which could mean that Atalia captured some sort of evidence of the paranormal or even maybe what some believe to be a glitch in the matrix as if we are living in some sort of simulation. Now I'm not too sure exactly what's going on here, you tell me what you think. Now what's curious is that hundreds of years ago, sightings of strange creatures and mysterious lights in the sky happened, but we would rely on paintings and people telling their stories. Nowadays, because of technology, we rely on photographs, 
videos and now we have drones. Just so you have an idea, in 2021 alone, there were 800,000 drones registered in the United States. That's a lot of drones recording everything around them. In Tennessee, a person was doing a flyover in an unknown location when this was captured on camera. In the video, we can see what appears to be a tree being cut. However, if you watch the video closely, it's not being cut. It's being ripped off by something huge. And in just a couple of seconds, the tree is going to be thrown from one side to the other and then carried on to some other place. If you observe closely, this can't be a group of people or any known machine. The tree is being ripped off in a very organic manner and it all happens too quick, which suggests this has to be some sort of huge creature. If you observe closely in this exact moment, the tree is being carried away like it's some sort of stick. I have to say, I've never seen anything like this and it also caught the attention of whoever was filming with the drone. Now looking for strange structures in the woods, I found many videos pertaining Bigfoot. This is one of them. A hunter finds a spot in the woods where things just don't look right. I don't see a human being doing something like this. It has to be something else. But what? Right here on the trail, twisted off, number one. Right here, number two, we can see a bunch of stuff that's kind of pushed down. Actually, Right there is a big stack of stuff all leaning against a tree. Why? I don't know. Harry Reid, unfrequented YouTube channel, captured something similar that other hunters have been capturing all over the woods. And look at this pile of sticks. I'm gonna get closer to show you guys. I could see it with my headlamp. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's cool. Like I see this stuff on my property all the time. Behind. Right there, that's broken. This one's broken off. And then we've got sticks like going through it. In your opinion, what is going on here? Could this actually be Bigfoot or maybe something else? Now, if there's one beautiful place with unexplained and strange sightings, that's India. On June 2020, a meteor-like object fell from the sky and left locals baffled by it. The next day, locals in Jalore actually found the supposed meteor. This is what was captured on camera. They were trying to dig the object out, however it seems like it's still too hot. Eventually, they ended up finding this bizarre looking rock that supposedly fell from the sky. Exactly one year later, a very strange sighting was reported in Gujarat and many other cities in western India. This is what happened. Well, 
Locals were baffled by multiple fiery balls that started appearing in the sky out of nowhere. This happened in different cities in Gujarat. Experts believe that this could be some sort of satellite. However, if you compare, it doesn't look like Starlink or anything like that. In your opinion, why are so many of these strange sightings happening lately? Like for instance, this one in Jackson, Mississippi, captured by T. Wingfields. It doesn't look like it's shining from anything is the thing. Like there's nothing on the ground. Like we're almost right below it now. I don't know. It's so crazy. It does look weird. I'm definitely like, I, yeah, I have no, no possible explanation for this whatsoever. Even traffic said there was a delay. I think this is the delay. <laughs> what in the heck? T. Wingfields and her family are baffled by what they are seeing. They can't seem to explain it, and neither can I. Apparently, a source of light coming from behind the clouds is shining just above them, and there is a certain moment they actually go directly below it, and there is no source of light that could be causing this from the ground. So, what exactly is going on here? <laughs> now, just imagine the following situation. It's 2.30 in the morning, you're sleeping at your house, you have to wake up early in the next day. When all of a sudden you hear a streaking and loud sound that comes from outside, apparently, the sky. The thing is, the sound doesn't stop, and you can't go back to sleep. So what you do is, you go outside to check it out. This is sort of what happened with David Manny, one of our subscribers, and this happened in Hacienda Heights in California. Check this out. Seven in the morning. It's fading out now. David says he woke up. This sound was going on and on. He says it lasted for about 20 minutes before he started recording it. Now, this isn't the only video that portrays such a bizarre and unexplained sound. In Germany, something similar was captured on camera. Check this out. Such a phenomenon is coined a skyquake, and it's a loud booming sound that is reported to originate from the sky. To this day, no one knows exactly what causes it. Some say it might be industries, others say that it has to do with tectonic movement or earthquakes. However, it's still a mystery. What could it be, and have you ever heard it yourself?
In certain cultures, the paranormal ghosts, spirits or the other side are believed and respected. The thing is, in some of these cultures they try to contact the other side in hopes of talking to people they no longer can reach on this side. Now even though this is sort of common in certain cultures, there is what they believe to be evil entities. In Colombia, a family was having trouble sleeping in their home when all of a sudden one day they started hearing noises coming from one of the rooms. One of the sons tells the father to go check it out. He just doesn't want to go in there, he feels a dark presence. This is what happened. The two boys seem troubled by something and they tell their father there is something in my room. He takes it seriously thinking it's maybe a burglar or something like that and he tells the boys to stay there while he checks it out. This is what he saw. No, venga, venga, quieto, quieto. No, no me empuje, está serio, ay usted, quieto, quieto. Mire, si no hay nada, son bien mentirosos, vea, ahí no hay nada, son bien... ¡Ay, hijo de ¿Qué es eso, madica, porra? ¡No! ¡Abre, abre la puerta! It seems the father captures what appears to be a shadow person, a well-known entity, an evil one. Now by their reaction, I believe this video could be real, and it's a very rare thing to capture one of these entities on camera. In your opinion, is this the real deal or not? And have you ever seen such an entity? Well, this is it for today, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I have an Instagram account, don't forget to follow me, and I have a new channel also. I will be uploading more videos frequently like you guys are asking me to, so yeah, stay tuned. See you guys again.